हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आर डिस्कशन ऑन डिस्टिलेशन पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग द टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन वेयर वी वुड बी लुकिंग एट द सिक्स मोस्ट कॉमन एंड वर्ल्ड वाइड यूज टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग सिंपल डिस्टिलेशन then fractional distillation steam distillation vacuum distillation as your tropic distillation and the extractive distillation at the end and we would be covering the working principle the procedure and the place where this type of distillation are used individually for each type of distillation so now guys let's get started with the simple distillation firstly talking about simple distillation Simple distillation is a method of separating the components in a liquid mixture based on the differences in their boiling point. The mixture is heated and the component with the lowest boiling point vaporizes first. The vapor is then condensed back into a liquid in a separate container and that results in the isolation of the individual components. This process is effective when there are significant differences in boiling points and among the components okay so this was a brief about simple distillation now we'll be looking at the principle of simple distillation so simple distillation relies on the fact that different substances in a mixture have different boiling points and by exploiting these differences you can separate the component effectively to understand this clearly imagine that you have a mixture of liquids and they each have their own temperatures at which they like to become gas simple distillation uses these preferences to separate them now looking at the procedure it all starts with the heating stage the liquid mixture is gently heated this is a start to give the mixture a bit of thermal energy as the mixture is heated the component with the lowest boiling point starts turns into vapor now in this separate container the vapor is cooled down the cooling process is crucial because it transforms the vapor back into a liquid the cooling and condensation results in the isolation of the individual components since each component has its unique boiling point they transforms back into the liquid at different temperatures this temperature based transformation is what enables the separation so guys this was the procedure of simple distillation now we'll look at where is simple distillation used simple distillation gives extraordinary results when they are subjected to difference in boiling point among the components if the components which are mixed together has a large difference in their boiling points simple distillation becomes a reliable method for separating the components into individual components so guys this was a brief about simple distillation now we'll be looking at the next type of distillation which is fractional distillation Fractional distillation is a technique used to isolate different components in a liquid based on the distinct boiling points. It builds upon the principle of simple distillation but adds a specific column to enhance the precision. Talking about its principle, we need to just imagine fractional distillation. We need to imagine the fractional distillation as a bigger and advanced version of simple distillation. However, the fractional column adds a layer of complexity and precision. to the routine looking at the procedure of fractional distillation it all starts with the heating stage similar to simple distillation you start by gentle heating the liquid mixture after heating stage next is about the fractional column the fractional column is the main magic where everything starts here the vapor rises through the fractional column which is through the trays or packing materials these surfaces provides opportunity for the vapor to condense and re-evaporate multiple times enhancing the purity of the products these repeated cycles of condensation and vaporization in the column creates different temperature zones and this allows the component with boiling points that are close to each other to have more chances to separate okay and this is how the separation of liquids takes place in the fractionation column and guys fractional distillation takes the stage when you are dealing with a liquid mixture where the components have boiling point that are closer to one another on the temperature spectrum okay so guys this was about a brief of fractional distillation now we will be looking at the next type of distillation which is steam distillation 
guys steam distillation is a method that uses steam to elevate volatile components from a mixture at lower temperatures it is ideal for extracting the delicate substances like essential oil from the plants without subjecting them to high temperature the principle is like as a elevator for volatile components in a mixture it's like giving them a lift and making them escape more easily by lowering their usual boiling points to understand the procedure of steam distillation imagine that you have a mixture and the components are a bit shy about turning into vapor steam distillation is like the friendly neighbor that encourages them steam is passed through the mixture and it acts as a partner making them feel comfortable in turning them to vapor the mixture and the steam get steam up and creates a combined vapor the combined vapor contains both the steam and the now vaporized volatile components but this journey can't last forever and the combined vapor is condensed this now turns it back into a liquid but now you have a mix of water and the volatile components and the final act involves the separation of volatile component from the water since it is not difficult for water to turn back into liquid it's easier to separate from more elusive volatile components and guys at the end steam distillation is like a superhero for heat sensitive components it's like when you are dealing with delicate substances like essential oil in the plants which can get damaged by high temperature steam distillation is the go to method it's a gentle process that ensures the component can get extracted without losing their essence due to excessive heat okay guys so this was about steam distillation now guys we will be looking at the next type of distillation which is vacuum distillation guys vacuum distillation is a method that distills the components in a mixture at lower temperature by reducing their pressure making it ideal for sensitive substances and also where a lower boiling point is desired guys to understand the principle of vacuum distillation think of the vacuum distillation as giving the mixture a makeover by changing the atmospheric pressure rules by lowering the pressure in the system it's like telling the components you can start turn into a vapor at much cooler temperatures i hope the principle is clear to you now looking at the procedure instead of distilling under the regular atmospheric pressure vacuum distillation happens in a vacuum where the pressure is intentionally reduced this change in pressure lowers the boiling point of the components in the mixture and with the drop in the pressure the component starts transforming into a vapor at lower temperatures than they would under normal conditions this reduced temperature means a gentler distillation process and this is especially handy for the components that might get grumpy and break down at high temperatures okay and guys talking about the uses vacuum distillation comes to rescue when you are dealing with the components that cannot handle the heat or while dealing with the components which needs excessive amount of heat to break down i hope this type of distillation is clear to you now moving on with the next type of distillation that is azeotropic distillation guys azeotropic distillation is a method for separating mixtures with constant boiling point by introducing a third component to disrupt their behavior and making the separation possible now looking at the principle of azeotropic distillation azeotropes are tricky because they maintain a constant boiling point and making them difficult to separate using traditional method the principle here is to introduce a third component that disrupts this azeotropic behavior or that breaks this azeotropic behavior okay now looking at the procedure in azeotropic distillation a third component is introduced this third component breaks the constant boiling point composition of the azeotrope the added component changes the dynamic breaking the azeotropic behavior and with the azeotrope disrupted traditional distillation method can now be applied more effectively these components now can be separated into each following its own distinct boiling points so guys this was a procedure about azeotropic distillation now talking about the use cases azeotropic distillation steps in 
when the traditional distillation method throws their hand up in a defeat due to azeotropic behavior. If you have a mixture that just won't separate because of the constant boiling point, azeotropic distillation becomes the problem solver. Okay, so guys, this was about the azeotropic distillation. Now, lastly, we would be discussing the last type of distillation, which is extractive distillation. Extractive distillation is a separation method that also adds a solvent to change how components vaporizes. This creates a separate liquid phase, improving the separation of the component, especially when they have similar boiling points. Looking at the principle, imagine extractive distillation as a strategy to make the components in a mixture play by new rules. By adding a solvent, it's like introducing a referee to the vaporization game, altering the willingness of the components to turn into a vapor. In the procedure of extractive distillation, when close boiling point components make distillation a tricky, a solvent is added. This solvent becomes a game changer, influencing how easily component transforms from the liquid to vapor. The added solvent don't just mix in, it forms a separate liquid phase. It's like creating a separate team in the game. This new phase enhances the separation of the components, especially those with the similar boiling points. With this solvent in the play, the components that might have behaved similarly due to the traditional distillation now have a different role. It's like giving each component a distinct jersey, making them easier to identify and separate. Okay guys, so this was about the procedure or the working of extractive distillation. Now looking at the use cases, extractive distillation steps up when the traditional method struggles with the component that are too cozy in their boiling preferences. When dealing with close boiling components, this method becomes a valuable tool. Okay. So guys, this was about the extractive distillation. And that's the end of this video where we discussed about various type of distillation. But particularly in this video, we talked about simple distillation, fractional distillation, steam distillation. Then we also looked at the vacuum distillation, isotropic distillation. And in the end, we looked at the extractive distillation. Okay. I hope this video is clear to you. So guys, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and guys for more video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel and guys feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.